Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and in this video I'll be covering variables, and I will be defining what they are, and also describing why why they're important to not only mathematics, but also any any scientists in that, that studies any physical science. Uh, so before we hop into the meat of the video, please hit that subscribe button and uh, and like the video for more content. All right, so let's hop right into it. So what is a variable? So before we can actually define it in in actual terms, what first comes to mind? Well, when I ask when I ask people this, uh, the most common responses I get are like are uh, letters vary, which is which is interesting because it's the which is which is kind of where we. Uh, Derive the word. <laughs> um, and uh, change. And, th and these are real world. Uh, okay. And, uh, for, and for defining variables in our cases, these aren't totally wrong. But the actual definition of a variable is... Uh, Okay, so uh, so, uh, so it's pretty much a representation of of any. Oops, sorry guys. The over of any quantity, and we typically do not this, but with letters. So usually with letters. Move that over a little bit for you guys. Fix that. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay. So, and and also these vary. Uh, so so any variables could vary, and we could represent anything. So w with a variable. So whether it's a a t uh, so whether it's like in in physics we do time, a chemical reaction. Okay, sorry. Uh, money, but anything goes. Let me, let me fix these papers for you guys real quick. Sorry about that. Okay. So, so now uh, there's different subtypes of variables. Let me move this out and fix the camera. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so there's different types of variables. So there's so there's three types. There's one a control. Two, there is um, independent and dependent. And our third one is the dependent variable. Okay, so all three of these variables make up. A lot of experiments and a lot of equations that we use in mathematics and sciences and also because of variables we uh, we were able to conduct we were able to conduct experiments and describe the world around us and and, and come up with famous theories to essentially uh, create the technology we have today from the healthcare we have to 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 our cell phone to our daily cell phones to our cars that we drive in uh, we were able, with experiments and variables in, in the experiments, we were able to describe them, to describe the world around us. So, all right, so, so, so let's just look at a random equation. So, um, y is equal to uh, x plus c, okay? Just something random, okay? Okay, so mx plus c. Okay, so let's think about this for a second, okay? So... When you hear when you hear control, a control variable, the first thing that the, the, the first thing that might come to mind, so um, a control variable could be uh, controls experiment. But that's not that's not the case because a control variable pretty much stays the same. It's a constant. So the way the way I memorize it is sorry, let me fix my camera. That's bad. <laughs> uh, sorry. 
Uh, so the way I the, the way I think about it is a control variable starts with a C and C is a constant, so and it stays the same the whole time. So C, so in this case, C will be the constant. Okay, and then so we also so that defines one. So this is a constant. Okay. All right. So then we have independent variables. So the independent variable doesn't doesn't depend on anything. It could stand alone by itself. And so, uh, so pretty much like, so in this case, in, in an equation, it's uh, it's this m m x. This is the independent variable. Okay. So. And it's also the variable that changes. It varies based off the number. So if you think about it, so m x. So if m is a if m is a constant, and and we're varying x, well, we get different out we get different outcomes for m. So if we multiply, so if if x, if x is equal to one, we get two m, or sorry, one m. If we get if we, if we have x is equal to two, we have two m. So it's consistently changing as we change the quantity. And then so that leaves the dependent variable. So Okay, so the dependent variable is the y. Fix. Let me move that over for you guys. Dependent. And essentially, the dependent variable depends on both the control variable and the independent variable. Essentially, now not not and not every not every experiment and every equation will have a control variable, but but dependent vari but the dependent variable in, re heavily relies on the independent variable to exist. So like in a, in a function, which we'll talk about later on, uh, so y is equal to mx plus c, which is an equation of a line, the value of y depends on the, on mx. And, and because there is a constant, uh, it also relies on that. Okay, so, okay, I get that with equations, you guys are probably thinking, but how does this apply to physical sciences? Well, so let's think of an experiment, okay? So say, so say you have a toy car. Okay. Sorry for my horrible drawings. So say you have a toy car and you're trying to find out how long it takes to go five feet and to the right. Sorry about that. Well, all right. So you guys will make a table, okay? So what's going to change? Well, the time, of course, and the distance. And so the distance, okay, so the distance is equal, is, is, so distance will change and it, and time will change. But because, uh, so sorry, I lost my train of thought. So because time changes and, and distance relies on time, the time will be the, the independent variable and distance will be the dependent variable. Or we see this a lot in, uh, sorry about that, fix my camera. We see this a lot in a lot of medical studies where where there's different drug tests. Uh, we have a, a control group which, which, which they are just normal human beings that don't get tested. Then there's regular human beings, and, and then there's the test group. That test group pretty much te t tests the medicine, and they pretty much... Uh, and so, and so, so their outcome, their side effects are the dependent variable. So, like in a drug test, okay, it's a control group. Uh, nothing. Constants. So they pretty much so, so the doctors, the, the doctors or the. Or the or or the scientists trying to study is trying to study study the effects of these drugs won't give us won't give a group of of people uh, some uh, the medicine that they're trying to test and they'll give another group so the the testing group uh, so they get stuff so they they get drugs and. And pretty much what happens is uh, they get tested, <laughs> and uh, so they're being tested uh, and they're being watched, 
for side effects. And so, and the people changed. And so as a result, so because the people changed, uh, people react differently to different side, uh, to, to medicine, their side effects could be potentially different. So the side effects, so this is the independent, so let me fix my camera. And also, uh, and so the side effects. Symptoms, the side effects of the drugs are uh, the deep end of the air bill. Because, this, because the side effects rely on the test group. Not the control group, but the test group. All right, so before we end the video, let's have a quick recap. So a variable is pretty much... Um, and so a, a, a variable is is any is a representation of any quantity. Uh, and it's typically used by numbers, but it could be anything, anything. And so we see it in sciences and, and mathematics. And some examples of them are equations and, and money, uh, chemical reactions, uh, time, and especially in word problems. Don't get me wrong, especially, especially in word problems. And then there's three types of variables, control variables, independent and dependent variables. Okay. So, and so the constant variable stays the same. The independent changes and the dependent relies on the independent. I hope this guy, I hope this helps you guys out. I'll see you guys next video.